Now the creature returns to her new masters. They lure her with candy. The cargo from Coventry, trying to talk some sense into the beast. Good luck, you'd have a better conversation with a speed bump. And the deal is signed with a chocolate kiss. She hurls her partner to the ropes. Oh, and catches her with a big feel. I think the farmer's daughters are actually making a better wrestler out of Beastie. But only Godiva's aching back can tell for sure. Now Babe gives the command to splash her. Like an obedient dog, she returns for her reward and then goes off to fetch the boat keep Britisha. She pulls her into position and takes to the corner. I haven't seen the wide load this happy since she moved next door to the toxic waste dump. Whoa, she hits her like a building collapsing, burying her under bodily rubble. And the farm girls celebrate. It's great having somebody to do their chores for them. And the ox returns for more. <laughs> but can Godiva take any more? They reach for the treats. Uh-oh, the cupboard is bare. Without those sweets, the beast may revolt. And she's already pretty revolting. The pump pudding realizes they're out of ammunition. She gives her partner an earful. Now that Sally and Babe can no longer give her a mouthful. And the crazed creature goes for the throat. And unfortunately, it's Sally's. The enraged ape takes her over the ropes. And Godiva backdrops Babe from the corner. The Nebraskan struggling, trying to get a foothold, hoping to scissor the raging bull. Ooh, Sally able to take her over and onto the arena floor. Babe catches her foe. She's riding the Coventry cargo like she rides her horse. And the plucky gal takes her over into the farmer's roll. And I'd love to see the bundle's horse do that to her. The obese beast takes over on her opponent. Whoa, splitting that pillow wide open with her. Sally caught in the debris. And the English muffin corrals Babe and hurls her over the ropes. A London lump still stinging from that beating beastie gave up. Ooh, Sally connects with a drop kick on the arena floor, but the beast is too weighted down with all that candy to fall. Sally checking to see if the crowd has any treats they can spare, hoping to turn the eyes or back on her side with anything edible. This bout has turned into a soap opera revolving around the big ape's digestive system. You might as well call it as the stomach turns. The Nebraskan cut the drink from a fan and gave it to the beast, and she decides to enjoy her soda sitting down. Babe and Godiva struggle by the corner, but Sally and Beastie were the legal ones in the ring, and the ref is counting them out. The obese one enjoying her refreshment. Sure, she needs something to wash down all that candy, like a waterfall. But the official has just counted them both out. But the horror doesn't care, she's sitting pretty. Babe and the bulky Britisher struggle, and she takes it down, but the match is over. It stands as a double countout. But these two grapplers don't want to give it up. She whips it to the ropes, and a big peel sends the barn girl sprawling to the mat. Then security drags the beast for Sally. This match turned into a chocolate mess, but that's what happens when you take candy from a babe. Using the word beckon.